Hey guys, I hope you're having a great Sunday so far. Um, just here with a word of encouragement, uh, like I do every Sunday for this little Let's Be Real series. Um, so the topic for today is wait. And, you know, like I always say, I always ask the Lord what it is that is on his heart that he wants me to share with you guys um, each Sunday. And today, when I was in prayer, he just said, wait. And I was like, okay, Lord, what does that mean? And so the scripture he took me to was Psalms 27, 14. And um, that scripture, it just talks about, you know, waiting on the Lord. Just, um, just that, you know, be patient, wait on the Lord. Um, he's there. So the word the Lord gave me yesterday was to stay focused that he's here. And so the two go hand in hand. Like, I just believe that so many people um, have been waiting on God and believing for so many things to happen in their lives. And they haven't had understanding. And, you know, we're in the last week of the year. And it just seems like, man, Lord, are these prayers ever going to get answered? The Lord just says, wait. His timing is perfect. Um, he will reveal things to you um, when you're ready to receive them, when he's ready to um, give you that information for you to have that understanding or for you to receive that promise. So a lot of times we feel like we're waiting on God, but really God is waiting on us, waiting on us to get into complete alignment with him, waiting on us to get in place and let some things go. Um, There's so many different things that involve waiting and waiting is not just a passive thing it's something that's active it's something that you're supposed to do as you're waiting on God as you're waiting for those answers to come um, seek his face and um, give him praise and thanksgiving for in advance for what you're believing for and once you get it don't forget to continue to um, offer praise and thanksgiving to him because he's the one that brought it to you because oftentimes we get what we want i was just thinking about the aftermath of christmas you know the kids get the gift that they want and then they forget about all the other the old toys that they had um or they play with them for like a week or two and then they don't play with them anymore it's just like the aftermath so what are you going to do when you receive that blessing are you really prepared um to receive it have you let go of the things that you have been holding on to is that possibly what's hindering um, the blessing from reaching you but the Lord says wait he is there with you um, the Lord's just been highlighting all year um, 333 and the verse that he's been just the numbers 333 I see them like see those numbers almost daily and um, there's Jeremiah 33 and 3 where the Lord says he will reveal Um, his secrets to you things that you may not have any understanding of he will reveal it to you and so as you're waiting um, just have faith and believe that God is going to reveal to you the things that you need to know um, like your next steps your next moves they're coming whatever it is that you're believing for a lot can happen you know in these next this next week Um, We got, you know, this last week before we are into a new year, a lot can happen then. If you're waiting on a miracle, you don't know how it's going to happen. A lot can happen in these next few days. So continue to have faith and just wait on God and just see what happens. You know, he will never fail us. Um, He will never fail us. I just have to repeat that. I pray that this encourages you. That's just something what the Lord placed on my heart today. Um, Just even me personally, the Lord's just telling me to wait, to trust him, to wait on him. And he's right here with me. And so I have no um, fear. And I know that what he's promised me will come to pass in his timing whenever I'm ready for it, um, whenever it's supposed to happen. And so I'm just going to trust him and wait on him and just believe his word and hold on to his promises as I continue to um, go to his word to encourage my heart in those times where I get weary. He's always there. So stay focused and wait. Have a great week and I will see you guys next Sunday, which will be a new year. So I love you guys. See you soon. Bye bye.